Hi, for today's set of notes, we're going to be looking at one of the five themes of geography. Uh, this theme that we're looking at is called region. So for the notes, you need a pencil, blank piece of paper, highlighter. Don't forget to fold your paper like I showed you. At the top of the paper, let's go ahead and title our notes. What's a region? And let's go ahead and draw a line right down where we folded. On the left hand side, we need to write our focus question. What defines a region? On the right hand side, we'll go ahead and write the answer to that question. A region is defined by common qualities or characteristics that unify a place. So when we look at region, we're looking for things that the place has in common. So using your highlighter, let's go ahead and highlight some keywords for the definition. Region, common, qualities, characteristics, and unify. So we're looking for things that people share or have in common. The second part of this definition Some common qualities that unify a place include, and then we're going to go ahead and list some of the common qualities that you can look at for a region. Language, and it could be what language they write, what language they speak, Religion, what do they believe in? What is it called? Holy books. Architecture. Architecture is the style of buildings or any type of structures that they are known for building. Economy is anything that has to do with business or trade or how they make their money or what kind of money that they use. Government means what are their main rules that they follow. It could be what style of government do they have. Do they elect their ruler? Is their ruler chosen by birth? Is it passed down? Clothing can unify a place. What's the type of clothing that almost everybody wears? Food is another common quality. What's the main source of food or the main kind of food that they eat there? Art, it could be what kind of art do they make? Is it a particular style of art? What are they best known for? Climate is what type of weather system do they have? Is it hot and dry? Is it cold and dark? And the last common quality would be landforms. What type of landforms do they have? Do they live in a swampy area? Is it mountainous? What kinds of things like that? Now I do want you to think for a moment about, let's take China because that's something that you should have learned in the sixth grade. So on the left hand side go ahead and write EX for example and go ahead and write China. Now I do want you to take a look at some of the common qualities that unify a place, maybe choose two, and I want you to pause the video, write the common qualities on the left hand side, and then on the right hand side draw a specific example to China. Okay, so I do want you to pause the video right now and do your work. Okay, so if you truly pause the video and if you truly thought about some examples for China, I guess we're ready to move on. One of the things that, you, that unifies China in a big way would be their language. The language that, the, that they speak in China, and it is not a trick question, is Chinese. 
And in this class, because we do deal with world cultures, if you do know the style of how they write, it would be awesome if you could include it. The two characters that I wrote here uh, are China, and it's written in Chinese. Another common quality that could unify China would be the kind of religion that they believe in. Uh, China's two main philosophies would be Confucianism and Taoism. Those are two philosophies made by Chinese people for Chinese people. But China adopted Buddhism and it became a very popular religion in China. So we could even put Buddhism down here as a religion. And then because I already taught you the symbol for Buddhism, you could even draw that in here as well. Now, I'm going to turn my paper over to the back. I don't know about you, but I do want to do a couple more common qualities that unify China as a region. If you think about architecture for China, two things should come to mind. China is known for a very famous piece of architecture known as the Great Wall. That served as the northern border to keep other barbarians from invading China and taking over. It is still standing today. It's 4,400 miles long. Another style of architecture that China is known for is their roofs. The corners of the roofs in China pointed upwards towards the heavens. So it was a style of roof that they were known for as well. And if we were to take another, what I think a pretty easy a uh, common quality for China would be food. Once again, a no-brainer. One of the main uh, staples for China, for China would be rice. A very easy one, very popular, still uh, eaten by a lot of Chinese, a lot of Asians today. So these are some examples of uh, common qualities that could unify a place. And now your job is to figure out a couple for our current unit, Islam uh, slash Arabia. Good luck.